Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Lux Oracle. Thank you for your likes, your comments, and your subscribes. Thank you for joining the membership and booking your personal readings. If you are divine and you are fine, you are welcome here. I speak only to your higher self and let's get into it because this morning, the first thing I heard when I woke up was... um. <clears throat> Shawty's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my iPod stuck on replay, replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget who that song is by, who, what it is. I never even looked it up, but y'all, when I tell you it was so loud in my head this morning, I'm like, who does my collective got feeling like this okay somebody cannot get you off their mind it's just i'm hearing reoccurring memory so this person could be having flashbacks at this time or it's like they just it's too much it's intense for this person and they feel like what do they have to do it's like this person wants to fight this off. They, they're trying to beat it up. They're trying to like, yeah, like, it's like they haven't surrendered to this yet. They haven't embraced this feeling yet. It's something that they're questioning because they want to know why or they don't understand why they feel this strongly or why they can't get you off their mind. It's like whatever they do throughout the day, this person could be very busy. This person could have serious things to do. This person could have serious. I, that's all I'm getting. It's like this person could have a really serious job, a really serious career. Okay. This person could be a lawyer or run a business. Okay. Or be a doctor of some sort. A nurse practitioner I'm hearing. Okay. And it's like they don't understand why. When someone is talking to them about something totally different, their mind is still on you. And it's, I'm hearing bothersome, okay? It's bothering this person, 222 on the phone, but it's also like, it's like they can't help but to smirk at the feeling because it just brings over butterflies. But at the same time, they want to make sense of it and they want to know why they feel this strongly for you and why they can't get you out of their head okay they cannot get you out of their head it's like it's like the vision of you the smell of you the 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 feeling of you is just swarming their energy so let's see what's going on i'm trying to decide if i want to do an extended with the 5D Lovers Oracle. Or do it now. But I guess I'm going to just do it now. Listen. When I say your energy is swarming over this person, I keep seeing your name and things that remind me of you everywhere around me. This person cannot escape you. This person is unwillingly manifesting you. You've helped me realize that I do deserve love despite despite my upbringing. Okay, so there could have been something that happened in this person's upbringing that made their, percep their perception on love or made their perception on marriage and commitment misconstrued. I'm also seeing like someone could have had a father figure or an older male tell them to never marry the woman that they love because it will ruin the love or ruin the relationship or like just never get married because marriage sucks or just like they just never seen a healthy marriage here. They always felt like, okay, to keep my love or to keep someone happy, I shouldn't marry them, okay? Because marriage always goes wrong, okay? So this person could have had um, negative self-talk, negative beliefs surrounding commitment, marriage, um, um, legal marriage, okay? Or just commitment in general, it doesn't even have to be marriage. This person could have a sweet tooth. They could like a lot of snacks or treats. Candy, chocolate, okay. I'm seeing Skittles 
M&M's. I'm seeing like a blue bag of something. I'm not sure what it is. You've helped me realize that I do deserve love despite my upbringing coming out again, y'all. So I'm going to do a um, extended about this person's upbringing and I'm going to keep moving forward. Okay. Tell me more about how this person is feeling at this time, Spirit, about my collective. Tell me more about how this person is feeling about my collective at this time. I have abandonment issues and have been let down by every single person I've allowed to get close to me. So this person feels like you will leave or they won't be enough or um, it's 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 previous relationships, it's experiences, it's things that have been said in heated arguments okay that make this person feel like and it could have not been from you but they feel like it's like they're judging um a book by its cover they feel like because um you could share similar traits as a previous partner or you could be a certain caliber of person or you could express interest in certain things that they feel like you would think a certain way when it comes to um, who they are and how they will show up in this connection and that is what is making them feel like um, they won't be enough or or they will end up um, getting the short end of the stick or they will be the one left out in the cold when it's all said and done here it's like this person is automatically assuming the worst or consuming the worst here okay It's like they almost just don't even believe in love or a happy marriage or a happy commitment because it's like they can't get past the worst that can happen, okay? This person also has a fear of like someone of you of you cheating on them or like someone taking you from them, someone with more resources or someone who is further along in life, okay? It's like this person doesn't feel good with where they are financially, okay, or um, when it comes to just personal development or just where they see themselves in life. They, they're not happy with where they are in life. Therefore, it's transferring over into if I'm not happy with myself, how can I bring someone else into my life and, and want to cater to them and, and be, you know? like show up in this connection in my highest version of myself which i know this person deserves this person knows that you deserve or that you will not settle for anything less than the best option okay or their best version of themselves okay because it's like you show up as your most authentic version you show up as your most um healed and whole version at least as much as you can, you expect that from this person as well. Okay, 100 and 100, not 50 50. Okay, I am going through a dark night of the soul. I am completely lost, broken, and searching for answers. So, this person was feeling lost on their journey. Yeah. We have, I know I don't tell you enough, but I think you are absolutely amazing inside and out. You have my heart and make me feel whole. You are my one and only true love. And I'm getting, but it's like the only thing about falling in love with an earth angel, the only thing about falling in love with a divine feminine, a divine masculine is when, is when you do, you're forced to awaken, you're forced to lift your frequency or else you'll feel out of place you'll you'll feel uncomfortable you'll feel envy you'll feel um what's it called intimidation so it's like you this person wants to love you but they also weren't ready to go on this journey of elevation I'm hearing emotional in intelligence it's like this person wasn't quite ready to unlock or to hone in on or reveal um what was holding them back okay this shadow work that needs to be done this these childhood wounds these old beliefs these negative mindsets 
these negative thought forms and thought patterns that are not serving this connection. They didn't know it would bring forth, yes, a divine love, but also the work that it takes to maintain and manifest it to come into physical union. My insecurity stopped me from pursuing you. Yeah, it's like they had to face themselves before facing you and it all became a lot for this person. It's like they are transforming, yes, but it is a lot for this person. So if this person is not acting or not moving or not showing you what you truly feel inside is going on, give them grace. Okay, they it's like they are I'm seeing a horse when it when it first comes out of the mother's womb, it's like barely can walk. Okay, yeah, this person has spiritual legs or they have divine connection legs, but like they're still trying to learn them. They're still trying to walk right without wobbling over, without falling over here. Okay, they're still trying to learn and navigate through the new version of themselves. But the good thing is, is this person knows that y'all belong together. There is a higher purpose for y'all's connection. And then look, for us to be together, it will require me to leave everything I've worked for behind and I am not ready to lose what I've built. Okay, so that's what we're going to get into in the um, extended is this person's childhood wounds in specific and um, what they feel like they will have to leave behind in order to bring this union forward because I'm getting... It's going to coincide. It's going to go hand in hand. It's it's something that this person or has been, they're doing now or has been avoiding the self-work. Okay. So if y'all need a personal reading, the link is down below and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.